With a final grunt and a smelly fart, Mario's log of shit finally dropped from his ass into Yoshi's mouth. Mario turned around and watched as Yoshi chewed the shit log. Eat it, bitch. Eat it all, said Mario. Yoshi pretended he hated doing this so much, but his throbbing wiener and moans of joy told Mario otherwise. Swallow it, ordered Mario, but Yoshi wanted to savor the shit. Swallow it right now, screamed Mario as he began wang-slapping Yoshi across the face. Hmm. Mario, hands on his hips, thrust his pelvis from side to side across Yoshi's face, punishing the naughty dinosaur. You do what Mario tells you, he screamed. After about 40 wang slaps, his wiener started to become sore, so he stopped. By now, the shit log had gone down Yoshi's throat. Egulate, he ordered. Yoshi strained and produced an egg. Inside this egg contained what was previously his shit log. Not enough minerals. Mario walked over to his shelf and placed it with the others. He had hundreds, possibly thousands, of these shit eggs. He planned to use these against Bowser the next time he kidnapped Peach. Now there was only one thing left to do. Mario bent over and pointed his ass at Yoshi, who immediately knew what to do. He began to use his tongs to clean Mario's shitty ass. Mario couldn't hold it back. His peanut let loose with some Italian ranch dressing. This brought Yoshi to an orgasm as well. With both their wieners pleasantly limp and tingling, they continued with the cleaning process. Don't forget to thoroughly clean the dingleberries from the hairs. Mario Dude. advised. Yoshi obeyed his master. Okay, I can't. It's fucking so disgusting. Now it was Luigi's turn with Yoshi. Yo, Luigi, I got him warmed up for you, Mario called as he walked out of the Yoshi room. Luigi walked in past him with a sly smile under his mustache and carrying an apple and a Hot Wheels car. Hello, Yoshi. Guess what time it is again, he said in a low voice as he locked the door behind him. Mario walked out into the kitchen, ignoring Yoshi's squeals of pain and joy, and poured himself. Fucking so gross. Unfortunately, he had forgotten to purchase milk, but he could improvise. He took out his wiener and peed into his Cheerios. <laughs> Mario so sat down in front of the TV and began to eat his Cheerios <laughs> and pee, while periodically scratching his balls. Hey! These Cheerios and pee aren't half bad, Mario said out loud, and contemplated having another bowl before he realized that he was all out of pee. Luigi had now returned, panting and sweating. Yo, Luigi, let me borrow some of your pee, said Mario, as he pointed the bowl at Luigi's crotch. J. Mario, I don't know what you would want with my pee, but sure, said Luigi, as he unzipped his overalls. Luigi filled Mario's bowl, but still had some more pee left in him. He took this opportunity to mark his territory around the house. First, he peed on his side of the couch, then he peed on his chair at the dining table. He only had a little pee left, so he had to make this last one count. He looked around the room and spotted his brother. He ran up and peed on Mario, marking him as his own. No one else can have you, shouted Luigi. Mario accidentally got some of Luigi's pee in his mouth. Mario and Luigi finished eating their Cheerios with pee and decided to go for a walk in the park. They hooked Yoshi up to his leash and took turns the raping him pack during the war. Come on, man. Why am I not just in the legendary shit dollar list? in the shade of the big oak tree? It seemed like today was going to be another peaceful day. However, no one seemed to notice 
the eyes peering at them from inside the nearby bushes. Mario heard a rustle in the bushes. Who's there? He called out, but there was no answer. Me? I'm warning you. You better show yourself. I got a dick, and I know how to use it. He threatened while thrusting and pointing at his dick. Luigi and Yoshi were now getting into position two, thrusting and pointing at their own dicks. You got till the count of three to come out, said Mario. One, Mario and Luigi unzipped their overalls. Two, they pulled out their quivering dicks. Three, Mario, Luigi and Yoshi all leapt into the bushes, thrusting their dicks around. No one had any idea whether or not they were dicking the person in the bushes or just each other. There were many shouts and the occasional giggle. Not Memories of Brian donated three dollars. Remember when an occasional hero in the chat could donate Mario silence with Brian? He watched the lump yes. in Wario's crotch were good start times. to grow larger. Tengier Wario shifted his that. legs to try and hide the growing bulge, but it was too late. Luigi and Yoshi had already noticed and were smirking as well. Yoshi's wiener twitched. Wario eyed it with apprehension, the bulge growing a little more rapidly now. Wario was sweating, his heart beating rapidly. Yoshi licked his lips. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew. Wario's hat off behind him. Hatful, aren't you going to bend over and pick it up, Wario? Asked Mario with an evil grin. Wario turned around and bent over to pick up his hat. He gave his ass a little shake as he did so, and Yoshi couldn't hold back anymore. He ran forward and shoved his now fully erect pina straight into Wario's ass, ripping a hole through his okay. overalls and underwear. I've trained Yoshi well. At this point, a large group of toads had gathered to the scene. The toads closed in and formed a circle around the two fuckers. After any particularly deep thrusts by Yoshi, the toads would erupt with cheers. The toads started becoming aroused and began rubbing themselves. Yoshi began thrusting harder and faster, while Wario had his eight-incher out and was stroking it. This pleased the toads, who began throwing coins at the two in between, stroking their own penis. The toads were shrieking in ecstasy as they rubbed their tiny wangs, watching the spectacle before them. A good 30 minutes of ass fucking and off jacking okay. had already passed by now. Too much. Hey, I know I'm not a mind reader, but hear me out. Think Hexerect. One wants you to skip these dogs, and I'm here to put the kibosh on that. You should actually select the worst ones and play them over and over again throughout the stream. That'll show them. The toads yelled and shrieked as their wieners were starting to become raw and chafed, but they couldn't stop. They knew in a few seconds it would all be over and there would be quite a mess. At the exact same instant, everyone ejaculated. Yoshi let loose his semen in Wario's ass. And Wario's okay, it's too much now. It's too much. We're done. Strings of toad semen streamed out of their wieners into an arc. Mario wiped little droplets of semen from his mustache as he surveyed the... Mario looked over and saw the naked Wario twitching on the ground and making noises. The toads gave one last cheer to Mario and then dispersed. Mario went over to Wario and attempted to slap some sense into him after a couple hard whacks across the face with Mario's wang. Wario woke up and pushed Mario out of the way and ran straight to Yoshi's cock. He began tugging on the cock and shouting, one day, 
Mario woke up and decided to take a shit. So Mario went up to Yoshi and said, Yoshi, I want you to be my shitter. And since Yoshi was Mario's bitch, he opened his mouth. Mario pulled down his stained briefs and began to shit in Yoshi's mouth. Yoshi was forbidden to express. Yoshi's eyes teared up, not from the pain of the shit particles, nor from the paint peeling stench coming from Mario's unwashed ass, but from the sheer ecstasy of being Mario's shitter. Mario noticed this and began to grunt harder, teasing the horny beast. Mario noticed that Yoshi was fiddling around with his dino wiener, which had become quite erect. Stop that. This instant, commanded Mario. Noticing his own two-incher was growing hard as well. Yoshi whined and reluctantly lowered his hands. Mario and Luigi pulled Wario away from Yoshi. Ah, me want wang, me want wang right now. Ah, snap out of it, said Mario, but it didn't work. He was then struck with an idea. He had seen someone on TV throw water on another person to bring them to their senses. Mario had no water, but he had the next best thing, pee. Hey, if it works as milk, it'll work as water, thought Mario, remembering his bowl of Cheerios earlier in the morning. He grabbed his dick and peed on Wario's face. This went on for 10 minutes before Mario took charge and threw everyone out of the bushes. Mario stepped out too and looked at the pile of sweat, semen and shit-covered bodies in front of him. Mario looked down at the man in front of him with a look of disgust. Wario stopped screaming for wangs and started spitting as Mario's stream entered his mouth. You what? said Wario. Stop going pee on me, said Wario, letting more urine go into his mouth, although he made no effort to stop it. Mario's stream had come to a stop and he flicked the last few drops onto Wario's face. Can you remember anything that happened? asked Mario. Mario and Luigi no, were quickly no, pocketing no. all the coins they could. The toads dropped their pants and started jacking off furiously while Wario... Anybody there? Squad, come in. Commander Artosis, are you? Hello, Commander. But wait, where am I? This dimension seems strange and detailed. Where I come from, the world looks much. Oh, zero, oh, I'm not zero, sure. Softer. Oh, 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 well, anyway, dollars. I knew taking oh, that devour oh, ass oh, would be a bad oh, idea, but oh, I sure am oh, glad oh, to still be oh, under the same oh, commander. Oh, 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 Everyone oh, oh, in all the Dune oh, Galaxy oh, oh, knows Artosis oh, oh, is the best Starcraft oh, 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 cartoon oh, commander oh, there is. It's an honor to be under your command, sir. At this exact moment, one of the Goombas sniffed the air, caught a whiff of semen-drenched Wario. Oh, shit! The Goomba chased after Wario, trying to get to the semen and feces mixture in his butt. Help me! He grabbed his wang and started rubbing it in an attempt to ejaculate and get them to go after the semen. The tiny and feeble brains were trying to make sense out of what they just saw. The fat man just shot food out of the thing between his legs. It could be assumed that the man could shoot more food out for them. The Goombas and Koopas began chattering wildly, communicating their newfound knowledge of how to gain food. They charged at Wario, their sights on his dangling wiener. Mario, what's wrong? Luigi asked, noticing the worried expression on Mario's face. Mario sighed. Yeah, you dumbass. Any man would remember getting fucked up the ass by a Yoshi while a bunch of... There wasn't much fecal matter and only a little bit of urine, but there was... 
quite a bit of semen, and the beasts were ready to take their fill. Yoshi was flicking semen off of himself for some baby Goombas, while Luigi playfully pissed on a group of Koopa paratroopers. Mario watched the feeding frenzy for a while before turning to Wario. You might want to get cleaned up. Wario, he said, they're going to sense the semen on you and start attacking. Oh, yum! You saved me your brown brew just like I asked. Thank you, Artie. Or should I say, Brew Daddy? God, your brown brew is so good. You really made this after a long day of winning nonstop on Brood War. Damn, I can't chug enough of this stuff. Guess what, Artrosis? I have something for you. Lay on the bed, close your eyes, open your mouth. Here comes my blue brew. I made it just for you. It's a little stinky, but... Hey, that's what you get for making me double pregnant. Artrosis began licka licka on my padded feet. This led a swell of blue brew to begin gushing out of my all over Artrosis's face. This turned him into a beast of the brew. He took me by my head quills and gave me the works. Give me all your blue and brown brew, Sonic, demanded Artrosis. I told him in a playfully defiant voice. Come and take me, you beast of the brew. Artrosis, oh God, yes, oh yes, yes. Take all my brew from inside me, God, Artrosis. Target, sir. What do you want? Oh, is that it? I was afraid of this, he said. The Coopers and Goombas, though stupid, are capable of learning if what they are learning is not too complex. When Wario jacked off just now to lure them away, some of them were able to figure out that semen comes from penises. Luigi gasped. Meanwhile, Wario was trying to fend off the Goombas and Coopers. They're usually easy to handle, but they can be quite troublesome in large numbers. And Wario had a good dozen of them coming in on him right now. The other Coopers, Goombas, were now making their way over to Wario as well. No one was coming to help him. Yeah, fuck you guys! He screamed. The Koopa paratroopers were the first to reach him. They dive bombed on him, going straight for the Pina. Wario just barely managed to dodge them as they crashed into the ground. Pools of blood formed underneath them as they lay on the ground, twitching. Wario had one hand over his cock to protect it and was punching away Goombas. A Micro Goomba had entered his ass and was crawling around the Micro Goomba in Wario's ass and made contact with his prostate and Wario's dick went from flaccid to erect in point six. On October 24, 2023, he was about to start punching them when suddenly the Micro Goomba hit his prostate again and he dropped to his knees and started furiously masturbating. Mario turned to Luigi and Yoshi. This is what we've got to do, he said. These Goombas and Koopas are the only ones that know about the source of the semen. We have to make sure that they do not leave and inform any others. We have to kill these these ones, doing great. I or else they could rise up against us. Thanks for listening, he pulled out two fire flowers to spend and handed one to in Luigi. The into more expands and factories. I know what you will say. You are the dumbest, clever Starcraft guard and co. They both then but shoved the flowers up their asses in the bank, to activate so the power. Then all three of them and charged forward to where the Goombas and Koopas were once again advancing on the masturbating Mario. Mario gave hand signals. To Luigi and Yoshi to split up. Luigi went to the left as Yoshi went to the left. And Mario kept going forward towards Wario. A Koopa paratrooper was in a dive bomb straight for Wario. Mario threw a fireball at it just before it hit Mario. The paratrooper burst into flames and fell. Yes, sir. Open in parenthesis. Close in parenthesis. Open in parenthesis. Close in parenthesis.
Open in parenthesis. Close in parenthesis. Open in parenthesis. Close in parenthesis. Open in parenthesis. Close in parenthesis. Open in parenthesis. Close in parenthesis. Open in parenthesis. Close in parenthesis. Are you fucking kidding me? Warriors Wiener went limp but immediately became hard again as the micro goomba in his ass continued stimulating his prostate. Damn it, Wario! Will you stop jacking off? said Mario as he threw fireball. Mio Wario! Mio Wario! With a record of 10 to 1 wins against Protoss, Zerg, and Terran alike, how could I not be pleased to serve you, sir? Why are you frowning, sir? Look, I'm not sure why you're slouching, but I'm Marine 32, 34264, and I'll go grab a Zergling for you to snuggle. That always cheered you up in my dimension. Commander, on second thought, those Zerglings are fucking terrifying. Ah, sir, they're chasing me down. And there is this thumbing sound catching up with me. Uh, holy fuck, sir. It's sir. Systems functional. Order served. Yes, sir. Wario was rolling around on the ground, jacking off as the little critter moved around in his ass. Mario, although angry, couldn't help but Seriously, Wario. come on. Just fucking stop those. You're not sticking your hand up my ass. You might shoot a fireball, he said, while covering his asshole. He squatted down over the ground and grunted. He strained and groaned and screamed in pain. You need to eat more fiber, said Luigi, as he and Yoshi walked up and watched Wario trying to shit out the micro Goomba. Luigi walked around behind Wario. I can see it, he exclaimed. Mario and Yoshi ran over to join him. Sure enough, the little Goomba's head was sticking out of Wario's wet arsehole. Meow wow. Donated $3.33. Wow underscore. Meow wow. 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 Meow wow. Loud fart. Meow wow. Fell out of his ass. Along with his size and chunk. Wow underscore. Mario picked up the micro Goomba. Wow underscore. It appears to have suffocated inside Wario's ass. He said, engulfing it in flames to make sure it was really dead. He turned to Wario, who was still shitting on the ground. Wario, you probably shouldn't jack off for a couple of days, said Mario. Give your dick some time to heal, and your testicles some time to produce more sperm. Meow wow. Wow underscore. Meow wow. Warrior finished wow. shitting. Underscore. Then used Meow his hat to wow. wipe his ass. Wow underscore. He placed it back on his head. Meow wow. He said, Wow. I'll jack off as much as I want. Meow wow. Mario just shrugged. Wow underscore. And motioned to Luigi Meow and Yoshi. Wow. But it was time wow. to leave. Underscore. As he was Meow about to wow. leave, 
Wow. Turn to warrior. Meow wow. Spark. Onto his pubes. Joe Biden donated $3. Away and walked it's off red down the path. Ball, but a dog warrior's screams flew down a faded dark into the background. When, time when they arrived back home that evening, their anger, but I forgot first thing part of Mario did do you know, but the son of a Buick is cut peeled off did exactly sticky. what I told See, him not to do. True. He will has donated five hundred dollars, donated three dollars and thirty three. He went cents. over, wow. stood in front of the fan, and yeah, out wow. his genitals. Wow! Soon the whole house was yeah, full wow. of the smell of Mario's wow. dirty balls. Wow. Yoshi's yeah, wang wow. perked up, but wow. Mario scolded him. No, Yoshi, yeah, wow. he said. Wow! You had a long yeah, day full of fucking yeah, wow. and jacking off. Wow. Not to mention the bow. Yeah, wow! Wow, underscore. Oh, shit, me oh, wow. Love sake. Wow, underscore. Me oh, wow. Wow, underscore. You don't score. even care that it's soaking wow. wet after playing tennis. Wow, underscore. Oh, shit. Me oh, wow. You suck your lady suck. Wow, underscore. Wow, it's cute to bring. Oh, wow. Wow, it's so wet from tennis. I love throat oh, flexing wow. your wet lady suck. Wow, Mommy underscore. Peach. Me oh, wow. Wow, underscore. Me oh, wow. Wow, underscore. Me oh, wow. Wow, wow. wow underscore. Wow. Meow wow. That's 255 cheered. X300. That's you need Jesus and Leonard. Monk the Christ, 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 Monk
Wario, look at your Wang Man. It's all red and dried out. There is a limit to how many times a man should jack off in one sitting. It's too much hex you have passed that limit. Wario winced as the euphoria of the anal stimulation was wearing off. His Wang, his poor Wang was aching. His balls were aching too from the stress of outputting so much semen. But somehow, it all seemed worth it. Mario nodded and handed Luigi his sauce container. No wait, Mario, said Luigi, unzipping his fly. I want to see if I can hit it from here. Luigi pulled out his already hard dick and started stroking it. Mario. Yoshi's head drooped and he walked off into the other room. But he peeked his head around the doorway to watch. Luigi was jacking off faster now. Get ready, Mario, he said. Mario held up the sauce container. Luigi moaned, and his eyes went back in his head. A wide smile crossed his face. Here I go! He yelled as he splooged his splooge, traveled in an arc, and came down right into Mario. Go ahead, Nuts and button, 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 nuts and he said. They both finished their chicken McNuggets, and Luigi brought out the Smarties for dessert. Oh no, he said. There's five Smarties. You can't divide these evenly. He looked at Mario with tears in his eyes. Mario thought hard for a few seconds, then came up with an idea. We'll play the boner game, said Mario. Winner gets the last Smarty. The rules of the boner game are quite simple. The loser is the person who gets a boner first. Luigi unzipped his overalls and pulled out his cock while Mario, being still naked, just gripped his. Yoshi once again came running into the room, looking happily from one cock to the other. Yoshi, no interfering. We're playing the boner game, said Mario. Yoshi started crying. There were cocks out and semen on the table, but none of it was for him. He ran out of the room, crying and peeing. Mario started the countdown 3 2 1 boner, and the game was on. They both sat there for five minutes before Luigi made the first move. He moved his wiener around in a clockwise motion. Follow my wiener as it rotates, he said in his best hypnotist voice. You are getting horny, very horny. He looked down at Mario's wiener, but it wasn't working. Sorry, Luigi, but it's going to take more than that to give me a boner. Sophist to Chino. X300. Okay, after tonight's events, I am converted. All my erotica posters must find. This is the best Mario Erotica audio book I ever listened to. Hey, Salmon, Link, my bros so want to listen to this hot this. audio book? What do you mean? You're not men. What the fuck? Well, I thought we were bros. Oh, God, no. I can't believe I throat flexed your sock juice. Said Mario with a smug grin on his face. Luigi stopped rotating his wiener and began thinking of a new course of action. Mario farted and used his hands to fan scent towards Luigi. Luigi got a whiff of Mario's fart and sat upright and trembled. Mario farted a second time and fanned the scent over to him again. Luigi's cock twitched. He gasped and quickly covered his nose. Mario chuckled and farted again. Ooh, this was a wet one, he said. Luigi's cock was starting to become hard. Luigi 
took him back to steady himself, then stopped. He could taste the fart in his mouth, and it tasted good. Luigi's dick was slowly growing hard. He tried thinking of things disgusting to take away his boner. He couldn't. Everything turned Luigi on. Mario, meanwhile, was going around the room, closing the windows to trap in the scent of his farts. He went up to Luigi, shoved his ass in his face, and let loose with a wet 15 second fart. Luigi's face was moist and foul smelling, and he loved it. Clever Starcraft Gar Shield. I'm not sure if it's three hundred Soriati you had this, but you forgot two things. First T M P on Templars and Carriers, you would have won the fight easy. And rebuild expand as soon as carriers leave the base so you don't run out of money. You know carriers are strong but slow as fuck. Mario that dragged was a very Yoshi close down game, the hall, hearty and hard kicking to and screaming and peeing. You don't have to blame yourself Yoshi, for forgetting shut the those fuck up, tips. ordered Mario, Better luck and stop pissing time. everywhere. But Yoshi Operate continued on. Oh, that's cheered. it, said Mario, as he grabbed his wang and aimed at Yoshi. Arty, it's a can you upload the last game on YouTube unedited? I think it really shows good gameplay by you. I need Mario to go watch Yoshi's and listen to the strats again. Please. And Blatant favoritism donated three dollars. Artismus, why Mario do you let held it right next to his wiener and, and quickly took his out and put the dildo in Yoshi's mouth. Cartel money Yoshi squirmed for a second, play, but you then became still again. Like, wow, Mario and Luigi cool. walked Meow, out of the wow, Yoshi room and locked the door. After five seconds. He sure is cute. Last when week he made poor ballasts W8 for his dono while they spanned. He looked behind it and saw the remnants of Yoshi's shit dinner. There was a good. One third of the shit left. His stomach growled. Mario picked up the leftover shit and started to eat. He contemplated sharing it with Luigi, then decided against it. He gobbled it all up and licked the plate clean. He made a mental note to make this dish again sometime. After watching cartoons for a while, Mario decided to head to bed. Luigi was already sound asleep. So Mario quietly slipped into bed beside him. He kissed Luigi on the nose and drifted off into dreamland. The next morning, he woke up to the bed, soaking wet. Damn it, Luigi, did you wet the bed again, said Mario. Luigi mumbled. Mario sighed and got out of bed his body moist and smelling of urine. He thought about taking a shower, but decided to just spray deodorant all over his body. When he got to his dick, he screamed in pain as some of it went up his pee hole. Luigi awoke with a start and hopped out of bed, assuming his fighting position. He saw Mario hopping up and down, holding his dick and shouting. Um, what's wrong? asked Luigi urgently. What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. I sprayed deodorant up my pee hole. Anonymous That's what's wrong. $3. Mario I'm shouted. This to Luigi ran into the kitchen and got a glass of water. Then ran back to Mario, who was rolling on the floor in agony. Quick, Mario, stick your dick in this water, Luigi said. Mario stuck his dick into the water and shrunk Holy shit, this is cold as fuck. Mario screamed. He swirled his now very tiny dick around in the water. How is this supposed to help me? Said Mario, his teeth chattering. The cold water will numb your dick, thereby taking away the pain, said Luigi. Mario noticed Luigi was right. He couldn't feel the pain anymore, but he couldn't feel his dick at all either. He didn't like this. He liked to be aware of his dick at all times. 
Mario took his dick out of the water and cupped his hands around it to warm it up. Luigi took the glass and asked, are you done with the water? Now tell me what you're gonna do when there ain't nowhere to run. What you're gonna do, what you're gonna do, ah, what you're gonna do when there ain't nowhere to hide, because it's gonna come for you, ah, and we pray and we pray and we, ah, I'll meet you at the crossroads, ah, so you won't be lonely, ah. Mario nodded as he rubbed his dick, not to whack off, but to help warm it up. Luigi took a swig of the water and licked his lips. Hey Mario, I have invented a new beverage. Dick water, he said with a giggle. <laughs> hey, give me a drink, said Mario. He took a sip of the water. Mm. You could have something here, he said. Then, suddenly, a jolt of pain shot through his dick. Ah, fuck. Mario took a few deep breaths to steady himself. I'm going to go take a pee and see if that helps, he said. I fucking love throat flexing Peach's wet lady sock after she plays tennis all day. I fucking love throat flexing Peach's wet lady sock after she plays tennis all day. Okay, hold on. Shine bright tonight, you and I. We're like diamonds in the sky. Eh? Shine bright like a diamond. Rare. 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 He walked into the bathroom with Luigi following him and stood in front of the toilet. Mario, lift the seat, said Luigi sternly. Mario groaned and lifted the seat. He forced a short stream out, then stopped, shrieking in pain. Ah, my fucking whiner! This hurts so fucking bad! But he gritted his teeth and forced more pee out. Why? Five long, painful minutes later, Mario had finally emptied his bladder. He fell to his knees, panting. His cock felt better now. On the other side of the house, they could hear Yoshi clawing at his door and yelling. Yoshi had no idea what was going on, but he heard his master screaming and he was scared. Mario looked into the toilet at his pee. It was a different color, sort of orange. Blowed, whispered Mario. Mario got up and walked out of the bathroom. Mario, we need to get you to a doctor, said Luigi. Mario turned to his brother. But Luigi, you're forgetting I am a doctor, he said. Anonymous donated three dollars. Okay, this is the worst ever. He pointed to his stethoscope, white jacket and the Good shiny and thing nice that goes around his head that were in the corner of the room. Luigi crossed his arms. Mario, you and I both know you're not really a licensed medical physician. But Mario chose to ignore these words. He put on his doctor outfit, 
and walked into his lab. Mario gathered his chemicals and sat himself down at his lab desk. He took a test tube and began mixing chemicals. He mixed a red chemical with a bubbly clear chemical. He pointed to his stethoscope, white jacket, and the shiny thing that goes around his head that were in the corner of the room. Luigi crossed his arms. Mario, you and I both know you're not really a licensed medical physician. But Mario chose to ignore these words. He put on his doctor outfit and walked into his lab. Mario gathered his chemicals and sat himself down at his lab desk. Why are there two goons right there? And began mixing chemicals. He mixed a red chemical with a bubbly clear chemical. He stuck his dick in the concoction and giggled as a tingling feeling ran up his dick. It gave him a boner which made his dick hurt even more. He set this mixture aside for later dick tingling when his dick wasn't in pain. Mario spent the greater part of the day trying to mix up something that will heal his poor penis. He was getting mad now. Maybe Luigi's right. Maybe I do need a real doctor, he said, lowering his head. Then he noticed his fake medical diploma on the wall and perked up. I know, he whispered. I can do this. In the other room, Luigi sat crying with Yoshi on the couch. What if his peener never heals Yoshi? Sobbed Luigi. What will we do then? Yoshi tried to cheer Luigi up by licking his balls. But Luigi was just too sad. Finally, at exactly 1.27 a.m., Mario mixed two liquids together and stuck his cock in the mixture. The pain in his cock subsided. What the... He looked at the two liquids he mixed. One beaker, red, sulfuric acid, and the other, red, Bowser's urine sump. Mario took his cock out of the test tube and waited. The pain did not return. He pissed out a small stream, and again, there was no pain. Dr. Mario has done it again, Mario said to himself. Luigi and Yoshi were asleep on the couch. Luigi using Yoshi's nads as a pillow. I did it, I did it. Mario screamed as he ran into the room with his dick hanging out. Luigi awoke with a start, accidentally headbutting Yoshi in the balls. Yoshi shrieked in pain and fell to the ground and grabbed his poor balls. Luigi cried tears of joy and Yoshi cried tears of pain. Luigi got close and examined Mario's wiener. Hmm, looks as good as new, he said. Mario squirted a bit of pee on Luigi's face. Oops, said Mario with a smirk. Mario, this is no time to be fooling around, said Luigi sternly. This time, you were lucky, but next time, it could be worse. Yeah, whatever, said Mario. Let's just go to bed. Mario and Luigi locked Yoshi in his room again. This time, it was easier because his balls hurt too much to put up a fight. Then they stripped down and hopped into bed together. With a goodnight kiss, the two brothers went to sleep. Mario woke up the next day with morning wood. Well, I might as well celebrate the curing of my dick, he thought to himself. Luigi was still asleep and surprisingly didn't wet the bed this time. So Mario tried to be quiet about it. The end. Thank you. Bam, bam, bam! Hey, Dirty David, thanks for the invite. Bam, ham, wham, bam! You like that Sonic? 
bam, bam, double pregnant, bam, bam, fuck yeah, ham, wham, bam, so big, bam, so blue, bam, blue brew is gushing out, bam, 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 wait, what the? Dirty David, what are you doing? No, no, help, not me, ah, no, ah, ah, oh, oh, God, ah, help, ah, ah, oh, help me, ah, ah, God is going food emote, ah. Operate 420 cheered. X300, hey Arty. Arty, what is up? this a sample from your audiobook? Do you have a discount code for your audible book? The end of part one. Part two. However, this was the first time Mario had gone 24 hours without jacking off in 14 years, and he couldn't help but squeal in delight. Mario closed his eyes as he brought himself to an orgasm right into Luigi's mustache. Mario rubbed Luigi's mustache. He went into the kitchen and looked for something to eat for breakfast. Like always, the kitchen had very little food in it. In fact, it was empty. He looked under the fridge and found a few saltines. He sat down at the table when Luigi walked in. Luigi had a puzzled look on his face. What's wrong, Luigi? asked Mario. I think something's wrong with my mustache, Luigi said, sitting down and helping himself to a saltine. It's pretty stiff today. Maybe your mustache has a boner, said Mario, although he knew the real reason was the semen that had hardened. Aha, very funny, said Luigi, sarcastically, and he got up to let Yoshi out of his room. Mario, help Yoshi, he's gone crazy, yelled Luigi. Mario got up and ran down the hall, then ran back to eat the rest of the saltines, then ran back down the hall. Luigi was backed into a corner with his hands over his face while Yoshi was desperately trying to get at it. He's trying to get my mustache. Destination! 
Mario ran up and grabbed Yoshi by the neck and started praying him. Then he kicked him in the nuts and threw him to the ground. He jumped up and body slammed Yoshi a couple times and punched him in the nuts. Mario, stop hurting Yoshi, Luigi said. Mario punched Yoshi a couple more times and stood up, panting. Yoshi was on the ground, holding his balls and crying. Mario spat on Yoshi and turned to Luigi. Are you okay? he asked and helped him to his feet. Yes, Mario, Luigi said. Then he started crying and grabbed Mario. Oh, Mario, I was so scared. He sobbed. I thought he was going to bite my moustache off or something. Oh, man, I don't know what I would do if something happened to my moustache. Mario felt uneasy. He wondered if he should tell Luigi that he splooged in his moustache. Luigi, I have a confession to make, said Mario. This morning, I woke up with morning wood and decided to jack off, and I accidentally splooged in your moustache. I tried to clean it, but it just went deeper into your moustache. Yoshi must have sensed the semen and tried to get at it. He sighed. Luigi crossed his arms over his chest. Mario, you know who I'm talking about. Yoshi looked up at Mario with tears in his eyes, clutching his balls. Mario sighed and scratched his ass. He sniffed his finger and sighed again. I'm sorry, Yoshi, he finally said. Yoshi smiled and Luigi nodded his head approvingly. Mario helped Yoshi to his feet and the three of them walked back into the kitchen hand in hand. Yoshi. Damn, Laya. Your giant hunger balungalows. Flopping about as you. Playfully. Bounce. On my lap. You make this old man feel like he's 69 again. You get what I'm saying, Laya. Laya. My face is looking awfully like a chair right now, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. 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 You got good hip movement. I can barely get a word out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dirty, decked, thirsty. Juice for me, liar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His balls are the whole reason he's in pain, said Luigi. Shut up, Operate said Mario. Luigi searched through the cupboards, then sighed. Wait, Yo, second, Mario, we've got to go to the store one of these days, he said. Mario hopped on Yoshi, who buckled under the immense weight of Mario and slammed his balls into the floor and commanded, To the store! Yoshi struggled to stand up and took three steps before falling to the ground again. Yoshi, this is not the store. This is still our kitchen, said Mario. Yes, sir. Yoshi noticed a bit of anger in Mario's voice and tried his best to stand up. Mario, I don't think this is going to work, said Luigi. Yoshi's just not trying hard enough, said Mario, and he kicked Yoshi sharply in the sides. Yoshi yelped and stood to his feet, wobbling a little. He kicked Yoshi again, and he took a few steps before stopping again. Then Mario noticed Yoshi's ball hair and had an idea. Mario swatted the flies away from Yoshi's scrotum and grabbed a hair. He yanked the hair out. The dead Koopa and Goomba bodies were nowhere to be seen now, and the only signs that anything had happened here were a few scorch marks on the ground. Yoshi's pace was starting to slow down. Mario reached down to pull out another one of Yoshi's scrotum hairs, but he was having a hard time. Yoshi's nutsack was, was moist with sweat, and so were the hairs, which slipped out from between Mario's fingers. Mario used his shirt sleeve to dry Yoshi's sack and pulled out another hair. The end. Orders received. Right away, sir. Orders received. 
I love big fat, juicy cock, and I can't help but suck them dry. Nobody can stop me. I love big fat, juicy cocks, and I can't help. I love big fat, juicy cocks. Not. I love big fat, juicy cocks, and I can't help but suck them dry. I love big fat juicy cocks. I love big fat juicy cock. And I can't help but I love big fat juicy cocks. And I can't help but suck them. I love big fat juicy cocks. I love big fat juicy cocks. Not enough minerals. SCB good to go, sir. Yeah. Research. SCB good to go, sir. I dig. No problem. Oh, is that it? SCB good to go, sir. 